pandemic cut us all off from society. I know we were in lockdown, but who completely isolated themselves from everyone? I know I did. At the beginning of 2020, my whole life was shut down. Everything I wanted to do, all my aspirations for that year, came crashing down on me like a truck. I wanted to join a club at school and plan to meet up with my friends that weekend and join the track team, but it all changed. It really hit me in March of 2020 when I was thinking about how I lived my life before the pandemic. I realized the only thing I was looking forward to was Mardi Gras at my brother's school. Mind you, this event was three weeks away and it wasn't even for me. I made, made me so frustrated that I hadn't done anything with my life. Why hadn't I started the club already? Why didn't I hang out with my friends last weekend? And why were they so angry? What did this accomplish? A few pretty texts or repetitive encouragement from parents and peers? I realized I wasn't the only one struggling. Other students, just like me in my school district, were experiencing the pain of isolation as well. A recent study from DPR High School shows that 40% of students in 10th grade had heightened depressive symptoms during the lockdown, but once we returned to school, that number dropped to 32%. This shows, at least in a small way, that the impact of the community, whether school or otherwise, can help keep our mental health afloat. As we were nearing the end of spring, lock spring lockdown, I knew I needed a change. So I decided to take over my emotions, and in the end, my mind. I started by creating a journal, something physical I could track my progress in. The journal started with basic questions, like how much time did you spend outside, or what was the best part of your day? But these questions turned into so much more. They evolved into, what are you grateful for? And what have you done to make a difference in your life today? Once I started asking myself these questions, I realized that my life before the lockdown was really bland. I would come home from school, grab the remote, and sit down on the couch and watch TV, day after day, week after week, month after month. I realized I needed to start making my life better. Not tomorrow, not after COVID, but now. It started with taking a walk in the morning or calling one of my friends every day. And after living a life of just sitting around, this stuff was fun. I knew right then that I had to put myself in the world more and start involving myself and started up waiting for someone to do it for me. So I stuck to my plan. And once the lockdown eased up, I knew that I had to jump into clubs. I was looking for things to throw myself into. So when emails got sent out, I replied to every single one of them and my schedule started filling up. Activities that I would have never done before, like sticking around after school to play board games, were now a part of my daily life. But this wasn't enough for me. I had to really show myself that I changed from who I was two years ago. So I signed up for even more sports and clubs and started saying yes. Yes is a virtue I am striving to live by. This simple one word has changed my life and is still changing to this day. I've been a part of things that I could have only dreamed of. And as of this talk, I have been involved in 25 different sports and activities this year. While there has been plenty of highs and lows along the way, I have been supported by people around me to persevere through challenges and learn to enjoy every moment. So what are some of the activities that I've done this year? Well, with the help of Mr. Shumway, our middle school's art teacher, I entered an art contest earlier this year and won first place. This is something that I would have never done before this year. And I never really liked art, but with my focus on saying yes, it means I would also focus on the good things in school, including my classes. I would have never joined the school play, even a month ago I wouldn't have put myself into the world as much as I did a few months ago. I would have never met this amazing group of people as well. Now, being in a show isn't easy. It's a lot of difficult, strenuous work over multiple months. But the reward is, the reward is immense and a great feeling of accomplishment. One of those I finally did it moments. The rush of joy as you're congratulated by family and friends is unmatched by anything else. Once you start to do activities that really interest you, new doors open. Doing some extra work right now might really pay off later when you get to something you enjoy. I know when I started to sign up for activities and clubs that really interested me, new opportunities came out of that. One was when I joined the school book club. Now, originally, I joined this club to read more, which has been one of my goals for a while. But joining this club has brought upon something that I would have never done in my wildest dreams. 
Now, through our school librarian, Miss Young, I am doing this TED Talk. Let's take it back. First, I joined the club, read books that I loved, and still are some of my favorites to this day. And now I'm here. Just by saying yes to one club, I am now involved in TEDx. Now, it might take some time, but everything has to start somewhere. And it's not all the high road either. Some nights I continue to do homework through 1 or 2 a.m. And if late nights are not much free time, it's a struggle you might want to limit yourself for. Finding the perfect balance between just enough and too much is difficult, and some activities can feel discouraging at times. But for some times, the best part is just getting to the finish line. Whether you have been watching from the sidelines, waiting for the, the right opportunity, or been involved in some different activities here and there, I encourage you to follow my path. Start saying yes. Now, you don't have to sign up for every opportunity that comes your way, and you certainly don't have to be involved in 25 activities at once, but I hope you realize that you have total control over how you feel and the life that you get to live. So much can be gained by getting out there, doing more, discovering your passions, and meeting a variety of people. The next time you see an advertisement for a club at school or audition for a community play, don't wait, just say yes.